you can Google this and, um, you know, I'm not necessarily, this isn't profound that I wrote this, but some of the tips for better communication is asking open-ended questions. So when you said, let's unpack this, cause that's how you started it. Um, you know, you obviously in that particular case, you wanted a yes or no answer. Um, you, you said, what came up for you? Like that, that's an example of an open-ended question. A closed-ended question is basically typically a yes or no. By saying what you said, what came up for you last night? It allowed me to share from my perspective. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Not exactly. I already let that go. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I surprised you we were going to talk about this. But so first off, always ask open-ended questions. And I think one of the questions that men resist, and yet I think it's important to ask men these questions, is feeling questions or what came up for you when this happened? What came up for you? And allow them to express how they felt. 